On the streets of Tehran, protesters gather to mourn the death of Ismail Haniya, the political head of Hamas, killed in an attack there. The Islamic Revolutionary Guard now threatening Israel with a, quote, harsh and painful response. His death comes after another targeted attack, for which Israel has claimed responsibility, a senior Hezbollah commander in Beirut, Lebanon. It's brought warnings like this. The wave of uh... Horror is coming rather than peace coming to the region. It follows a weekend attack on a soccer field in the Israeli-controlled Golan Heights, in which 12 children were killed. Israel blamed Hezbollah. This is Israel doing what it said it would do, which is go after the leaders of terrorist organizations and groups that have killed and targeted its own citizens. Middle East expert Brian Katula says the events show that a diplomatic solution or ceasefire to end the fighting in Gaza and bring the hostages home is now even less likely. The killed Hamas leader said to be part of the negotiating team with predictions of instability, but possibly not a full-scale regional war. Stepped up terror attacks, um, the return of certain, uh, the era of uh, certain jetliners being uh, targeted and other things. A, a bit more of a chaotic situation as opposed to a conventional war. Top White House officials continue to insist coming to a ceasefire agreement is still the top priority for the United States. Meanwhile, U.S. citizens in Lebanon have been urged to leave the region immediately or be prepared to shelter in place for long periods of time. In Washington, I'm Christine Frazau.